What is going on outlaws, once again Michael or Legacy Kill HD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. And today we are going to be discussing the new gameplay features that have been confirmed and teased based on Red Dead Redemption 2 second trailer. As most of us continue to theorize and dissect the introduction to Arthur Morgan, we have almost neglected to mention some of the huge gameplay changes that seemingly are coming within this prequel, and today we are going to be breaking down all of that. But before we dive into this, if you have not heard, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2, all you have to do is check the link in the description to enter and just be an active subscriber. Also make sure to get geared up for this upcoming western by getting the popular Red Moon or Wanted t-shirt designs. If you're interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description as well. Nonetheless, we need to start with probably my favorite new addition, the bow and arrow. Red Dead Redemption 2 seemingly will have a much grander scale of Native American influence, which is something that I was disappointed not seeing in Red Dead Redemption, but so far seeing some of the teases at natives such as this unknown character in the scene, which could be from a tribe, I really hope we will get more variety than just a bow and arrow weapon. Although another reason why this bow and arrow is something I really am excited for is the possibility of stealth. Later within RDR2's trailer, we get a small glimpse at this, and we can see Arthur taking down someone in a takedown fashion from behind. Red Dead Redemption really only had one avenue of playing, and that was the gun blazing action packed way, besides one mission in which we took down the Mexican army who were guarding a train. As some of you have mentioned to me in the past, if you go behind an enemy at the right time with a knife, you could maneuver a stealth takedown in Red Dead Redemption, but really, I never was able to achieve this as the enemy AI always knew where I was. Either way, with the Rage Engine being significantly upgraded, stealth now looks to be fully enforced, which should allow us players to complete missions in a few different routes. Next is something that I was also disappointed not seeing in Red Dead Redemption, and that is dual wielding. This is a new addition that has been teased since the first cover art came for Red Dead Redemption 2. The other day we got our first look at it within actual gameplay with Arthur shooting at someone, also, if you look really close, you can see that Arthur has one of his eyes shut as he shoots these dual wielding revolvers. Just some excellent attention to detail that we see throughout this new trailer. Based on a past screenshot, we saw two different dual wielding revolvers being used by Arthur, so it does look like we will be able to customize our loadout somewhat, which is pretty awesome. Just thinking about it now, there actually are quite a few things that I felt were missing from Red Dead Redemption that Rockstar clearly picked up on because they're now going to be featured in this upcoming new installment. And I say that because swimming does appear to be in Red Dead Redemption 2. No more death as we walk into the water. Within the bayou scene of our recent trailer, we got to see some characters walking through a marsh-like environment to a house. Based on the leaked map that has all been but confirmed by now, there is a lot of water on this map, so as I predicted in the past, we could see some traveling by boat and other activities activities involving the water like maybe treasure hunting or fishing. But one of the more impressive things is just how active the world is. The animal AI looks insane and it truly seems like Rockstar will be giving us the best living world within a video game thus far. We don't even need to bring up the alligator that took down the boar or the nasty looking grizzly bear that is running after something or someone. But we could talk about the horses that look exhausted and are even showing it with their mouth spitting out saliva. But it really is impressive the lengths that Rockstar has gone to to bring an authentic experience to us. Whenever we do get to play Red Dead Redemption 2, I can imagine the numerous scenarios where we could see animals attacking our character, non-playable characters, or even other animals which will truly create a living world. Probably one of the biggest things coming to Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be heists or robberies. This was something that was in Red Dead Redemption, but it certainly was a minor feature. Grand Theft Auto 5 was kind of Rockstar's first game to go all out with it, and now as we take the role of ruthless outlaw Arthur Morgan, we're going to be experiencing a lot of these activities. We got our first look at it within a few scenes, as we can see Arthur single-handedly rob a bank, and we also see him leading some sort of train robbery. Either way, this will be a major part of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, which will hopefully give us some good loot. Lastly, customization is something that also appears to be much more improved. We can see a few scenes with our protagonist Arthur Morgan wearing different coats while still having the same shirt on, so it looks like we should be able to fully change Arthur's clothing. Red Dead Redemption obviously had the outfits which were accessible through completing challenges, we weren't really able to change them up, 
but it's still unknown if that system is going to be coming back or that Rockstar may have changed it up this time around. Outside of clothing, we've also seen some of the weapon customization from the screenshots that came in May, which featured actual designs on some of the weapons, maybe something that could be done at a blacksmith. Additionally, through the first two trailers, we can see different looking saddles on horses, which could signal some customization with our own horses. We also saw a character which is now confirmed Dutch wearing rings on his fingers, and a glimpse at a barber, which maybe we can get a haircut, so it looks like there is going to be a lot of customization, and I honestly believe this is just the tip of the iceberg of what we will see. A lot of other features have been teased, like dynamic weather, bar fights, lassoing a horse, and some others have been rumored through leaks which includes choosing our own gang members and building mechanics. Red Dead Redemption 2 is improving on all aspects from Red Dead Redemption, which makes me more excited that this next installment will hopefully live up to its high expectations. Either way, I really want to know your opinion on this. What gameplay feature or features are you most excited for? Let me know in the comment section below. But as usual, gang, thank you for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value and consider subscribing to stay up to date on everything Red Dead Redemption 2 related. And remember, outlaws to the end.